Hello guys, welcome to Code with Maddie and today we are going to solve today's Verla Soft's coding assessment question and let's begin with the question. And this was the first statement coding question. Write a program that will take five integers as an input and the program will then print the community sums of the numbers as an output. And uh, input format is the input consists of five line each containing single integer. Okay. And output output should be community sums. Okay. Okay. Let me share. I think the whiteboard is visible. Guys, uh, what we have given is that we have to take five uh, line separated inputs, integer inputs. First line should be an integer one, and second, two, third, three, four, and likewise five. And this is, these are the uh, line separated uh, in, uh, integer input. And what we have to do is that we have to just add a cumulative sums. Suppose my first input is one and it should be always a printed output should be as only one because one, one plus zero is one. And for the second input, it should add two and the first input one that, that is three and the output should be three. Likewise, it will be it, it will add one plus two plus three and it should be a uh, six. When I enter uh, a number four element, it should be one plus two plus three plus and four and output should be ten. And the last one, the uh, last integer that is fifth integer five. And it should be one plus two plus three plus four plus and five. It should be the output should be fifteen. The output should contain like this, like this, like this. Uh, first, uh, first should be one. Second should be three. Second should be three. Uh, third should be six. Fourth should be 10 and last one will be the 15. Likewise, likewise, we have to just do cumulative sums of the given integers, five integers. And let's begin with the coding. Okay, guys, let, let's start with the first coding. Uh, I'll take one variable x and I, I will assign value as a file to it because we have to take five integer inputs using while loop we will take the five integer inputs okay and one more variable answer and it should be an empty list an empty list to store, store the outputs outputs and after that we'll take s variable for doing addition or we can addition after assigning variables we'll use while loop for taking five inputs that is x is greater than zero if condition comes out to be true it should go inside the uh, loop and it should take input a equal to int input int input and uh, it should do addition s plus a and uh, after uh, take, uh, doing addition we will just simply append answer empty list with the sum of uh, given integers five integers after appending integer we have to give we have to just uh, do 
so x equal to x minus 1 to make the uh, while loop false if it is not given then it should it will go in infinite loop and uh, we will not get any result at the end uh, let's uh, now after doing uh, doing this will okay i'll explain it now suppose my uh, value first uh, first integer will be if my first integer is one one okay if my first integer is one uh, one minute guys uh, okay if my first in and uh, okay uh, x is 5 now if it will check the condition x is greater than uh, 5 is greater than 0 yes it is greater than 0 if the condition comes out to be 2 uh, we will take first input 1 and uh, it will be added to the yes now yes is initially yes is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 we will append the first value of sum in uh, list that is 1 and we will just simply uh, decrement the value of x. Now x will be 4. It will go again while loop to while loop and it will check that condition 4 is greater than 0. Yes, it is greater than 0 and condition comes out to be true. Now we will take second input as a 2, as a 2. Okay. After taking, taking uh, second input, it will be added with the first input that is 1. 1 plus 2 will be now 3 and now after addition it, we will append the uh, sum of first and second integer into list. Now the list will contain 1 and 2, uh, 1 and 3 sorry, 1 and 3. Uh, after uh, appending we will just simply decrease the value of x. Now x will be 3. Likewise when it comes to 0, if x is 0. 0 is greater than 0, no, condition comes out to be false, then it will go, uh, it will go out of, out of the loop. After uh, making condition false, we will, uh, we will just print the uh, our, our output. Now for printing output, we will just use the for loop. Uh, wait a second. Uh, we'll just in the for loop using for loop you will print the answer okay it gives print and i let's save it and run it okay now i have ran the program now we will check the what are the given out outputs in the question okay the first given input is sample inputs are uh, let me let me share the question wait a minute guys well, these are the given sample inputs uh, now we will check it and we will give first five teachers one two three four five and it should give output as a one three six ten fifteen okay let's run it one two three four and five now here you can see that the output is one three ten fifteen one three six ten fifteen we will cross check it with given sample output here you can see uh, the given sample matches with the our output and this was only the question uh, the level of question was easy uh, let's check with the another sample inputs we will take five inputs same inputs minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 and it should print minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Here we have solved the 
बिरला सॉफ्ट स्कोरिंग क्वेश्चन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज repeatedly came into the uh, assessment you can join our whatsapp group and we can share questions and we can get their answers the whatsapp group link is given in the description box don't forget to like and share and subscribe thank you guys